Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me superior. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. This is two days of uploads in a row. I posted two videos yesterday, one today, and when was the last time I did that? You know what I mean? It's been forever. So if you guys could show some support on this video, that would be dope. That would be amazing, and I would love you forever. We would be best friends, okay? Or gay lovers or whatever. I'm down with it, bro. I'm fine with it, man. I I, I don't judge. It's all cool. Anyway, today in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which I've actually been playing a lot of recently. Like, even though Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered are, like, the newest CODs and the current CODs, you would expect me being a Call of Duty YouTuber playing those games the most. But... No, it kind of seems like Infinite Warfare is like the Walmart brand of Black Ops 3. And I went back and played Black Ops 3 and I'm like, this game's fucking good. This is a fun game and I'm ha I've been having fun playing it and so I... Fuck it, let's make some videos on it. Anyway, today we got two new weapons in Black Ops 3, as I'm sure you guys are already well aware of. Um, that is the PPSH submachine gun, which was brought back from Call of Duty World at War. Um, and I think it was in, it was in, like, Call of Duty Frontline, which is, like, some shitty, like... You, you probably haven't even heard of it. That's how bad it was. Okay, so uh, the PPSH and the M16. This video specifically is going to be about the PPSH. I'll have another video up later today talking about the M16, giving you guys some tips and tricks like that on that. But this video, we're covering the PPSH. Now, I don't know how many of you guys remember the, P the PPSH from World at War, but it was that one submachine gun that you could hear across the map. And if you hear that sound of the gun, you just shit your pants. You know what I mean? It's just like when you hear the sound of the gun. Because you know at some point, whenever you run into the guy with that gun, you're going to get melted because it's got an insane fire rate. Like fastest fire rate you'll ever see in your life. All right. I'm not sure exactly what the fire rate is in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. They haven't released any of the weapon stats. Back in Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty World at War, the PPSH had a 900 round per minute fire rate. 900. That is retarded. That is so fast. You could basically hip fire somebody and you're guaranteed to just destroy their entire corpse and and you know then they'll have to have a closed casket funeral because there'll be so many bullet holes and it's just it it's it, it destroys people it really does uh or at least in previous cods but as you can see the gameplay is actually with the ppsh uh they definitely didn't make it as overpowered as it was in other call of duties they kind of toned down on the fire rate a little bit not a whole lot like i said they haven't put out the actual weapon stats for it yet but i would estimate it to be somewhere around you know 650 to 750 fire rate so it does shoot a little bit slower than it did in past call of duties that it was in but still it is a melt machine and it's insane uh at close range medium range and it's even a viable weapon at long range with this fire rate so it's definitely manageable as far as the damage that it does it does 35 damage at close range meaning that you're going to need at least three bullets to kill it's a three bullet to kill at close range like if you're standing right next to a guy and you shoot his toe three times you'll get the kill not too shabby right but it's a submachine gun so that's kind of to be ex expected and that's kind of the standard within black ops 3 we'll get to the class setup that i've been using with this because with the ppsh this is a gun like normally class setups with guns are pretty just generic you know like there's just you can use the same shit on every class setup for the most part and be successful but the ppsh you really got to change use some unique attachments and some unique perks uh in order to get the most use out of it so make sure you stick around uh to see that class setup that i'm running with in this gameplay but i want to talk about one last thing uh, about the actual stats of the weapon and that is the recoil previously in call of duty when this gun had an insane fire rate that also came with an insane recoil you shoot the gun you know you shoot a whole magazine and you didn't even touch the thumbstick you'd, you'd be looking at the sky like that shit was just you know pew, like a fucking rocket going to the moon type shit so in this game since they toned the rate of fire down they also toned the recoil down but they toned the recoil down more than they toned the fire rate down. So what I'm saying is it still has a really fast fire rate, 
but it has an extremely low amount of recoil for the fire rate it has. So they they uh, they buffed the recoil and nerfed the fire rate, and it's still really overpowered, and it's still a great fucking gun. So it's it probably just as good as it was in other Call of Duties with the lowered recoil now. Now let's get to what you've all been waiting for, okay? Let's talk about the class setup. So the class setup on the PPSH, like I said, it varies and certain attachments benefit this gun a lot more than other attachments and it's just kind of a weird gun, okay? So previously in Call of Duty, the PPSH had 75 rounds in each clip or 75 or 72 something ridiculous like a lot of bullets in the clip but in black ops 3 when they brought it back it only hits 35 which automatically puts you at a disadvantage since it has such a high fire rate so if you do want to use rapid fire if you know you're like damn dude this ppsh used to shoot a lot faster and i missed that and you want to put rapid fire on it you can do that but the clip is just going to be destroyed getting a double kill will be difficult getting a triple kill will will pretty much be damn near impossible because of how fast this gun just tears through its ammunition since they since they nerfed the magazine size so um if you're feeling the need to put rapid fire on make sure you pair it with extended mags but other than that i wouldn't say you need extended mags but it still is definitely an attachment that if you plan on rushing and you plan on getting a lot of kills extended mags is almost necessary for the PPSH if you want to play that playstyle. Another attachment that I found really useful on this weapon is laser sight. Like laser sight on a submachine gun with a super high fire rate is insane. Like you just melt kids down, just you walk around a corner and you see him, boom, just pull the trigger and he's sprayed to the ground, he's melted, he's dead. So a laser sight, extended mag, rapid fire combo can be really deadly if you use it with the proper play style and that's the thing with the ppsh that i feel like a lot of people don't realize is that it is very play style based more than it is class setup based like your class setup is based off your play style is what i'm trying to say but me personally the class setup that i'm rocking in this gameplay and what suits my kind of um, a little bit aggressive, but kind of reserved like I'm not a rusher, but I'm not a camper I'm just somewhere in the middle. I prefer to use quick draw grip and stock stock being able to straight fast is nice And you know quick draw and you know for grip are, are used for obvious reasons because they're just good attachments to use as far as perks go if you're rushing put afterburner on Rushing and afterburner are like two peas in a pod. You need them. You need both them bitches. Also, scavenger with this weapon, since it goes through ammo so fast, you almost need scavenger. I mean, unless, like, you throw a lot of stuns and want fast hands. Like, what the fuck else would you use besides scavenger? And then perk. Perk. Whoa, holy fucking voice crack, dude. That... That was bad. I'm, I'm not I'm not editing that out. I'm leaving that in. Hit the thumbs up button for voice cracks. Or the dislike button for voice cracks. I don't care. Just hit one of them. Up or down. You, you pick. Anyway, perk 3, totally up to you. I don't know. Like, I prefer awareness, dead silence. But, I don't know. It's up to you. So, anyway, do hope you guys did enjoy this video. I want you to comment down below. Did you get the PPSH? Do you not have the PPSH? Do you want the PPSH? Be out or be on the lookout for a video covering the M16 later today. If not today, tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, the next day. But if I don't have it out by tomorrow, then it probably won't be up the next day because I probably just gave up on making it. <laughs> Hope you guys did enjoy. Hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. All right. Peace out.